Hi guys, Greg here for Newegg. As laptops get thinner and lighter, which is a good thing, we find that in order to save size and weight, their connectivity ports have started to become fewer and further between, which we might take as a sort of bad thing. However, the Saving Grace is an amazingly powerful connection type either called USB-C or Thunderbolt 3. By utilizing either of these two types of connector ports on a laptop, you can cover almost every input and output that you could possibly need, including two-way power. Now to an old guy like me who grew up with a computer that had a plethora of ports all over it, including parallel and serial ports that had super wide ribbon cables coming out all over the place and creating a big mess everywhere, this is just like a daydream. Imagine, come home, plunk your lovely little laptop down on your work desk, plug in only one very thin cable, and then voila! Absolutely all of your peripherals are connected now, including the power supply to the laptop. So what do you then need to pull off this feat of magic, aside from having one of these super ports on your laptop? Well, you just need this beautiful little wavelength docking station. Then we have two USB Type-C ports for USB-C peripheral connectivity and 3 amp of 5 volt power. They're right over here. We then have, over here, we have a gigabit Ethernet port and we have uh, two audio out, mic in, and then two HDMI and two DisplayPort connections. What else could you possibly need? It's basically all there. As the Wavelength docking station is equipped with DisplayLink technology, you get super simple plug-and-play connectivity for a series of monitors, up to two 4K displays or one 5K. The HDMI ports and the display ports support 4K with resolutions up to 4096 by 2160 at 60 Hz. Or when using dual display ports simultaneously, the dock supports one 5K monitor up to a resolution of 5120 by 2880 at 60 Hz. So whether you're working on a CAD project at home, cutting videos, or just playing some fun games, you're totally covered here. One of the coolest features is that if your laptop supports Type-C charging, this dock will then be able to charge your laptop with up to a 60 watt power requirement right through that one little USB cable you've plugged into the dock. So there's no need to hook up a power cable to the laptop anymore. The one power supply to the dock will handle everything. And aside from giving your laptop 60 watts of power, it also leaves another 40 watts of power for all downstream devices connected to the dock. Because the dock's own power supply, which is here, provides the dock with a hefty 100 watts of power. Wow, that's pretty nice. As a little note, for those laptops that don't have a USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 connector but do have a USB-A port, we got it right here, this one, okay? Don't worry, Wavelink has got you covered by including a USB-C to USB-A cable in the package. So you can still use this powerful dock for everything and the features related to transferring data and you're only going to be missing the ability to charge your laptop via the dock's own power supply and will just need to use your laptop's original charger. The dock supports, of course, both Windows and Mac systems, including Windows 10, 8, 7, and Mac iOS 10.15. We've noticed, too, that this lovely design little box has very sticky silicone feet. So once you set it down on the table or your desk, it's going to be planted nicely and securely and not slide around all over the place, which is a great feature considering how many cables you just may have plugged into the dock. You definitely don't want it flying around all over the place. And there you have it. That's a wrap for me. Big G on Newegg signing off. Hi, I'm James and welcome back to Newegg Now. Keep your desk organized and open up more ports for your monitors and peripherals with the Wavelink USB-C docking station. So the Wavelink Triple Display Hub supports a single HDMI display up to 4K resolution and dual or triple displays up to 2K resolution. You can connect the USB-C to your PC using this and make use of the dock's 13 ports. Those include a PD charging port. I'll just show you all the ports here. Here's your PD charging port on this side, 
There's also a USB 3.0 port here, HDMI, HDMI. Flipping it around, we have our Ethernet port on this side and a DP port here. Now here we have your SD card slot on top and a micro SD card slot, also known as a TF card slot down below. Here you have some USB 2.0 ports with backward compatibility and two more USB 3.0 ports right here. And turning it around one more time, we have an audio jack here. This will take your microphone and headphones. So regarding its 87 watt PD 3.0 pass through charging port, I'll just give you another look at that. That's right here. Now, this dock is gonna provide 60 watts power delivery to your laptop and 27 watts to other peripherals. So that's going to allow for quick charging times. It's going to quickly charge your connected devices while displaying or transferring data. Now the ports have gold plated connectors for stable signal transmission with minimal interference. Now looking at the body itself, it's sleek aluminum shell, feels sturdy and it doesn't get too hot during use. So that's our look at the Wavelink USB-C docking station. For a triple display setup and other great connectivity solutions, go ahead and check out the product link in the description down below. For more keyboards, desks, laptops, gaming accessories, and other gadgets, head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to Newegg Now. If you have a car, it's about time you picked up a reliable dash cam. Whether it's for safety, evidence of wrongdoing in accidents, or just capturing footage of your next road trip, dash cams are a super useful accessory in use worldwide today. So now we've got the Vantrue N4 dash cam. Let's get into the specs. So this is a three channel dash cam, which means you can record three cameras all at the same time. Now the N4 offers a 155 degree angle front facing camera right here, which is also adjustable. Check that out. Now it also has a 165 degree, that's a wider angle inside camera. And that's gonna be on the other side of this. This is gonna pick up everything inside your vehicle. It also has this, ah, here it is. This is your rear camera, also a pretty wide lens on that. That's 160 degree rear camera. And the rear camera comes with this extra long cable here. So you can run it all the way from the back of your car, truck, or van. Now, in three cam mode, if you're running all three cameras simultaneously, they're going to record in 1440p. That's 1440p. 1080p and 1080p. 1440p, that will be your main front camera. That is your highest resolution camera of the three. Now, each of these will record at 30 frames per second, which is standard for this kind of video. Now, however, in two camera recording mode, you can actually capture crystal clear 4K resolution using the front facing camera. So if you reduce it down to only recording two cameras simultaneously, you're gonna get a higher resolution. 4K in the front, 1080p in the rear, both at 30 frames per second. That's 4K in the front, 1080p inside the car, and they're both gonna record at 30 frames per second. That's these cameras right here. Again, that's your front-facing camera, 4K, and this one's going to record at 1080p. That's full HD inside the cabin of your vehicle. So if you prefer to only activate the front-facing camera, same deal. If you're only going to roll footage from the front-facing camera, it will record in 4K resolution, which is probably ideal if you want to capture details such as license plates at long range. Now, regardless, the camera settings, the cameras give a decent picture quality overall, even at night, thanks to the Vantrue's night vision technology. Night vision is made possible with the Sony Starvis CMOS sensor. It has a big F 1.4 aperture and six glass lens on the front facing camera and an F 1.8 six glass lens on the rear camera. That's this bad boy right here. So these are set up to increase exposure automatically in low light. There are also four IR LED lights facing the vehicle occupants, and those are right here. If you have a look at the interior camera, you can see the IR LED lights here. So they're gonna capture everything that happens inside the car, even at night in very low light conditions. Now, if you get into a car accident, there are a number of useful features built in as well. The variable sensitivity G-sensor emergency will emergency lock videos 
into the event folder upon any impact. It's also useful it's also useful in parking situations. The dash cam will automatically switch to parking mode five minutes after you've parked your car. Then in energy saving motion detection parking mode, the dash cam will be on standby and wake up to record any movement it detects outside your vehicle. In the event of any collision with the vehicle, the dash cam will automatically record. So if anyone bumps into you while you're parked, it's going to pick that up. Now in terms of heat resistance, don't worry about the sun causing any issues. The Vantru N4 dash cam is actually powered by super capacitors rather than traditional lithium ion batteries. This is going to allow it to survive extreme weather conditions all the way down from a very cold 14 degrees Fahrenheit up to 158 degrees Fahrenheit, making it ideal for both hot and cold climates. Super capacitors also tend to have a longer lifespan. Finally, it can house up to a 256 gigabyte SD card for storage. But if your card gets full, don't worry, the camera system will automatically overwrite the card's oldest file. You can see we've connected, this is the rear facing camera to the front facing and interior cameras here. This is also known as the cabin camera when we go to the settings. So right now we're shooting in 1440p by 1080p by 1080p. So the front facing camera is shooting in 1440p resolution and the other two cameras are shooting in 1080p full HD. All of these cameras are recording in 30 frames per second. So that's our look at the Vantru N4 dash cam. Give yourself a little more peace of mind. Pick up this dash cam by hitting the link in the description down below. For more car accessories, batteries, computer gear, and other gadgets, head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to Newegg Now. If you're familiar with drones, then I'm sure you've already heard of Dajiang Innovations, more commonly known as DJI. After all, their drone products account for more than half of the market. And if you've been paying attention, then you've probably also already heard of the very popular DJI Mavic Air 2. Today, we're going to take a look at the DJI Mavic Air 2 drone fly more combo set, including a closer look at its specs. All right, first off, let's take the drone and its controller out of this shoulder bag that comes with the Fly More Combo. So here comes the Mavic drone. I'll just lay that down here. Here is the remote control. Okay, first off, the camera. Now, the Mavic Air 2 comes equipped with a half-inch CMOS sensor. It captures impressive 48 MP photos and records 4K video at up to 60 frames per second. Oh, if you're new to HDR, that means each captured frame has different exposure levels in different areas, accurately capturing all of the light and dark details of a subject and settings with a high dynamic range. The captured images are then automatically layered up combining images from a wide dynamic range to form a clear and precise finished picture. The Mavic Air 2 has impressive HDR video capabilities that are one of its major highlights, made possible by its high performance quad buyer image sensor. The Mavic Air 2 also offers DJI's advanced panorama mode with a higher dynamic range as well as colors that are vivid and incredibly accurate. So all that footage comes out smoothly thanks to its three axis camera gimbal. The OcuSync 2.0 system ensures stable video transmission up to 6.2 miles delivering a 1080p 30 frames per second live stream straight from the drone's camera. Video capture is made almost effortless thanks to the focus track feature. Focus track is a collection of intelligent tracking modes including Active Track 3.0 which will allow the drone to track and follow its subject while also avoiding obstacles smoothly. Spotlight 2.0 will keep the subject in the center of the camera and Point of Interest 3.0, which will allow the drone to circle a subject as its center point. These features allow you to automate the tricky stuff and focus on your storytelling and composition instead. All you have to do is always keep your eyes on the drone for safety. The Mavic Air 2 also supports hyperlapse in 8K, which will let you warp time and space for some pretty amazing results without any time-consuming post-processing work. Select your mode from free mode, circle, course lock, and waypoint. Then select the shooting location and the DJI Fly app will do the rest for you. 
The DJI Fly app also integrates the editing suite experience DJI users will know from the DJI Mimo app. Here you'll have access to a range of adjustable manual settings, some advanced functions and quick and easy templates to shoot creative and professional looking compositions in mere seconds. So how does the drone actually fly? The Air 2 has a maximum flight speed of up to 42 miles per hour in sport mode and perceives its environment in three different directions, forward, backward, and downward. It has an auxiliary light which improves visibility in low light settings and obstacle avoidance to help ensure a safer flight. Obstacle avoidance performance and automatic flight planning on the Air 2 are better than ever. The Advanced Pilot Assistance System 3.0 utilizes an advanced mapping technology for smooth following and reliable obstacle avoidance in complex scenarios. The newly designed remote controller features an ergonomic design for a great grip feel and boasts its own battery life of 240 minutes. There's also a handy clamp on top of the remote controller so that you can easily attach your smartphone running the DJI Fly app. Finally, why upgrade to the Fly More Combo? Well, let's look at all the extras that it comes with. First off, two extra batteries, each with an approximate life of 34 minutes. It also comes with this new battery charging hub and ND filters. This ND filter set has three different filters for 16, 64, and 256, handy for adjusting shutter speed and recording in extreme lighting conditions. Also included in the set, your standard drone set will come with some extra propellers, but the Fly More combo comes with a bunch of extras. That's one, two, three, four, five, six more propellers there. So you can swap those out. Those are of course low noise propellers to swap out just in case. It also comes with this, a handy shoulder bag to carry the drone itself and all these accessories together. So the Fly More combo, all these extras making flying easier and more enjoyable than ever. So that's our look at the DJI Mavic Air 2 drone fly more combo set now available at newegg.com. It's a standout offering from DJI's great line of camera drones. Check out the product link below and head over to newegg.com to find deals on laptops, hardware, and other accessories. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to Newegg Now. Furniture is important, not just for comfort, but for facilitating greatness. I mean, for a really good gaming experience, it's not just about what's inside your PC, you're also going to need the right desk, and we've got one for you here today. Today, we're looking at the Vitesse 63-inch gaming desk. First off, as you can see, it's a good size, 63 inches long by 29 and a half inches wide. That's an extra large desktop area with this mouse pad that covers about half the surface. This also means your keyboard and mouse will sit at an even height on your desktop. So this desk is sturdy. It's constructed with a premium density fiber board material and a coated steel frame holds it up. Its weight limit is reported at 250 pounds, so you won't have to worry about additional monitors or desktop accessories warping or breaking the desk. Its T-shaped design and four leveling feet down below keep it on an even keel. Additional features, it has a gaming handle rack, four charging ports, and it will let you charge a phone, iPad, headphones while you're using your PC. It has a PVC laminated surface with the aforementioned mouse pad as well. It also features a handy cup holder and a hook on the other side to hold your headphones. So that's our look at the Vitesse 63 inch gaming desk. Get a nice looking centerpiece for your setup with this sturdy desk by checking out the product link in the description down below. For other desks, laptops, gaming accessories and gadgets, head over to Newegg.com for more great deals. On behalf of everyone here at Newegg Now, I'm James Oliver. Enjoy your tech and I'll see you in the next one. What's up, Eggheads? Kenan here with Newegg Now, bringing you the best products for the best prices. Super excited to introduce to you the Aoster Motor S07B electric bike today. As you can see, I've already got it assembled in front of me. It comes 90% pre-assembled in the box already, all parts carefully packaged and protected. In the box, you get the e-bike, battery charger, toolkit, and user manual. 
If you're in the market for an electric bike, you already know prices can go from 500 bucks all the way up to $8,000. Pretty exorbitant prices out there. So why buy an electric bike anyway? With an e-bike, you get to combine the benefits of a traditional bicycle with the added benefits of easily climbing hills or fighting the wind. Those can make cycling quite a drag. <laughs> if you have joint pain or asthma, an e-bike can allow you to experience the joy of cycling without being in pain. Get you back out there enjoying nature, either in solitude or with friends and family. The Aoster Motor S07B is an awesome model on more of the budget end of the spectrum yet still delivering many of the great perks that the expensive bikes deliver. Let's get into it. Okay, from the outside working in, the S07B uses a strong and lightweight aluminum alloy frame suitable for users of height 5'4", up to 6'5", and up to about 300 pounds. It's equipped with a front light, a rear reflector, front and rear disc brakes, Shimano Outer 7 speed derailleur, you get a switch for a shock absorber, all right? Suitable for more complex terrain, keeping you comfy no matter where you are, very good. Let's talk motor and battery. Aoster Motor gives you a 750 watt high speed brushless motor and removable lithium battery right here. Strong, strong driving force, long endurance. This battery is a 48 volt, 13 amp hour lithium battery. Can you guess what speed you can achieve with this motor and battery combo? Many e-bikes out there can't top 20 miles per hour. So the fact that this one can do 20 miles per hour is pretty good. Just kidding. You get a top speed of 25 miles per hour. Charge the battery in four to six hours and you're gonna get 30 to 43 miles of distance out of just one charge. The variance will depend of course on the amount of hills and your speed. But this is more than enough power for a regular daily commute, grocery run, or just enjoying a quick frolic around nature. And also, that's only if you're using e-bike mode, all right? You get three modes, e-bike, pedal assisted, and normal pedaled mode. You can obviously use it as a regular bike, so you can get far more distance out of the bike if you were going to conserve a little bit of power along the way, right? Maybe pedal yourself along level terrain, and then use the e-bike mode just to climb hills. All right, one charge will last you a super long time that way. All right, so quick recap so far. Aluminum alloy frame, suitable for users 5'4 to 6'5, less than 300 pounds. Charge the removable battery in four to six hours. Get 30 to 43 miles out of one charge. Speeds up to 25 miles per hour, and three working modes, e-bike, pedal assisted, and normal pedaled mode. Let's check out these fat tires. All right, this is pretty insane. 26 by four inch fat tires, giving you incredible traction. You'll have absolutely no problem cruising over beach, snow, gravel, rain, dirt, sand, even ice, all right? Suitable for all terrain. I don't care if you're in Alaska, Death Valley, Machu Picchu, riding in the snow or on a beach, your journey is only limited by your imagination, and it is not limited by these tires. Moving over to the display, you've got an SW LCD display. They even give you a USB port under the meter to charge your phone while you're traveling. Imagine that. If you've got headphones or Bluetooth headset on, you're riding along, streaming music, listening to an audiobook, or even on a conference call on the way to work, arrive at your destination, phone still fully charged. It's, it's those little things in life, right? So nice. And that's pretty much everything I can impart about this bicycle without you riding it yourself. It's definitely a great long-term investment. Riding an e-bike can save a lot on transportation costs. It's good for the environment. It's great for your body, for your mental health. You can use the bike traditionally without power for a full workout or use e-bike mode and pedal assist to get up those tough hills, work through strong winds, or if you struggle with joint pain or asthma. This could be a great gift for anyone who fits that description as well. Pro tip, when assembling, first attach the handlebars, flip the bike over, and install the tire, all right? That'll make the process very easy. You'll also want to loosen the bolts near the discs uh, at the tires before attaching them. All right, so, uh, so yeah. Aosto Motor has thought of a lot here. They give you a strong, 
durable frame, amazing tires built for any terrain and weather conditions. You've got the lights, the brakes, the LCD with phone charging port. Really all that's left is just to get out there and have fun. Let us know what you think about this bike in the reviews and comments. For current pricing, please check the description or click that link below. The Aoster Motor S07B electric bike. I'm Kenan with New Egg Now, and now you know.